working didn't elicit any reaction. It's it's not going to work to go shh, shh, shh. That's a reaction. And no response is a response. So you have to have, as hard as it is, again, and look at how people are with dogs. They'll do anything just to get a reaction out of it. This is disturbing, really. They'll jump around, run around, chase them around. Anything to get a reaction. If the dog doesn't do anything, they don't repeat the behavior. And it's the same with dogs. Just barking at me, I just don't have any reaction. It doesn't work at all. Anyway, Gloria, if you're there, I, I'll call you since I get off the thing. But I gave them a bath, and I got all their stuff packed, and they still had some of their food left from that bag that you sent. So I put everything in that container. And I'll run it all up there. I sleep last night. I ended up getting up at like 11 to let this puppy out, which she did hold it. And she only made it to the doormat, but still, <laughs> made it outside. Then for some reason, I must have drank too much caffeine yesterday or something. I could not go back to sleep. I don't even look at the clock when that's happening because then you're just like, oh, how much time is passing? shouldn't have drank that Coke energy thing. He said, how much, I don't know how much caffeine is in it, but I could just tell. I could just tell that was why I couldn't sleep because there's so much caffeine. All right, so I can get her move her over. And, and this is what I wanted to tell you, Gloria. If, if he gets here, I don't have time to call you. You need to be very flat when these dogs get in. Not, oh, baby, baby, I missed you, I missed you, I missed you, because all that's going to do is elicit that old behavior of jumping. They've learned to control it somewhat, but it's only gonna take, it's, it's like these people that quit smoking. All they gotta do is go to a bar and have a drink. They're smoking again. So you've gotta avoid the trigger. You've gotta just be very flat. And I try to explain to people, all that excitement, all that whatever, needs to be focused into tasks not it's just occurring and then now the dog is jumping and everything else i've had people that oh can we say hi can we say hi they want to be all over the dog then when the dog does something right they literally have no reaction i try to explain to them now is the time now is the time to get excited they're just completely flat so that's not going to work at all I don't want to move my eyes. I don't have any reaction. So I don't know whether he brought the collars with him, but get those collars on. Get them in the house. Get them in the crates. And then let them settle down a little bit. Get used to being back home. And then get them out. And now the school is just at your house. That's how it is. Not, oh, we missed you. And now let's celebrate. Now you're jumping. Now we don't like it. You've got to be really flat until they do something that you want. Reacting to things that you don't want. I know it's hard to understand, but what people tend to do is they start going into this kung fu fighting thing with dogs jumping on them. And it's like Chase. Oh my God, I got to find that video of Chase. I said, I, he, he couldn't stand still. And that, I don't know if you know, they weren't here, I don't think that dog was here that was a flat coated retriever it kind of looked like an Irish setter I think it was right before they came and the dog would jump all over them and they would try to fight it off and I said Chase just stand still he couldn't do it he couldn't do it he's jumping around I mean I couldn't help but laugh but if you said if you put it all in slow-mo the dog they they're both just jumping around yeah he said who's Chase he's my friend that looks like Channing He's actually better looking than Channing Tatum. I know that's hard to believe. He's like six foot three. He said, how tall is Channing Tatum? He's probably six foot three too. Anyway, so no more barking. Trying to attack behaviors that you don't like doesn't work. If you said why? The dog just fortifies themselves. I did have to resort to 
and that was only after I got them to a certain point, but using that nick to stop them from jumping. But now I just to the point, I just don't do anything that's gonna elicit it. When I let them out, I just go out. There's no reaching, petting, nothing. It's a journey to go out. It's not a journey to jump. All right, so remember yesterday we had her picking up the stuff. So I recycled the hot dogs from yesterday by cooking them more. He said, what's the benefit of cooking them? And you should probably cook them, Gloria. If they're too slimy, if, you if they're raw, they're just, they're too slimy, it's gross. Gloria, at least you'll be able to still keep watching the show when you're in quarantine. If you said, what episodes have you got planned? Puppy in pajamas. I told you I, I bid on this stuff at my friend's charity auction. He said, what was it? Apparently there was some puppy pajamas in there. I forgot about that. It was a whole box of stuff. Like nobody bid on a bunch of this stuff, so I just bid $25 on all of it. And I forgot what it was. And so they dropped the box off yesterday. I'm looking in there. I'm like, what's this? Best I could figure out, it was these puppy pajamas. So that's going to be the episode, puppy in pajamas. And then there was a Peeps costume. I knew about that one. There was a Peeps costume and then the puppy pajamas. And, oh, these little Crocs. I thought they were like this big, but they're actually like that big. She's so crazy smart. So no reaction. Oh my God, she's scaring me, Katie. She's so smart. Anyway, if you said, what have I been doing with the housebreaking? And I'm just going to tell you, she did have a little downslide yesterday when I left. But you're going to, uh, I don't know what happened, but you're going to have to put the dog in the crate at night for now. Even if later you want to wean her out. It can't be the only time she's in there is when you're gone. Because now it does seem like a jail. She's doing good. I mean, I woke her up. Well, I woke up. I didn't know what time it was, but I said to myself, I better let that puppy out. So I got up, and then I saw that it was like maybe like a, I, I keep my clock set 40 minutes past. 
but I think it was maybe like 11 o'clock and she was asleep. I woke her up. She was asleep and I put her outside and then she peed, but she's peed right on the door. <laughs> but they do that sometimes. And then I put her back in there. I mean, the whole night went good, but then I've been letting her out all morning, but she's got bones and stuff in there. And the difference is well, I put all of my puppies, I put the crate up high. And then I lift them out of there and put them right outside. If you said instead of getting her out and expecting her to run to the door, yeah. So it's just really keeping her from. A lot of dog training is not giving them opportunities to make mistakes. I mean, if you said because if you give them chances, they'll do it. Yeah. So I just keep moving the dog out of my eye line. She, she scares me, she's so smart. Oh my God. It's only her third day. That's, it's scary. It's, it, he said, what are people not aware of? The level of consciousness. I've never told this dog to do anything. The only thing I did was stare at these objects. It's, it's scary. It really is. That's the biggest mistake people make is underestimating the level of my precious little dog. And she lays right by me. So we got two things going on with this. He said, what else are you working on? That recall. And that's going to be, like, remember you said that she wasn't coming. They'll come when they're a little puppy, just like little kids. The older they get. Unless you train them to do it, they're not going to do it. When people say it's pretty good about coming, I'll tell you when it isn't going to be good. When you need it to be. No reaction. That isn't working at all. This, on the other hand, is working perfect. She's got a crazy level of consciousness, and once you understand that, she's going to probably lay back down again. I'm really glad you brought her, Katie. I'm glad you didn't wait until she was older, because she's crazy smart. So if you said, what don't we want? We, we definitely don't want one that barks at us. shepherds they are barkers they, anytime somebody says that they are barkers I mean if somebody comes they bark that's how they are if something moves they bark that's their nature but some labs bark but a lot of mine aren't barkers I mean there's not barkers all right let me do a quick little video and I'm gonna try to call you here real quick for you um, but I'm gonna go put their stuff up there. But oh, and Sugar's got a little hot spot. I'll send you a picture of it. It's it seems like it's fine, but it's got a little hot spot under like under her jaw there. 
says from what? Who knows? Who knows? All right, let me see if I've got any room on this phone to make a quick video. And but you see, she is facing me, and if you said she's waiting for, she's my dog in waiting. She's my butler. This scares me though. That's that's the third day, and the dog's already does that. Scary. Yeah, Katie, I mean, even if you said my eventual goal is for the dog to sleep in the bed, we, she still, you're not going to look back and say, I wish, you know, we never would have crated her. So, and if we can figure out a way to put the crate higher, I'm sure your boyfriend can figure something out. They just, they feel more comfortable a little bit higher. I mean, she'll sit in there, she crosses her paws, and she, I got all kind of bones and everything in there, and she'll play. They have to learn to play on their own. Not just be, I need to be entertained 24-7. There's just no way anybody can keep up with that. There's no way anyone can keep up with that. So it's always been a desirable thing for a puppy that can play by itself. You know, so she's just in there. And I could hear her in there last night when I went to bed, like rattling the bones around and stuff, playing with them. So that's what we need to have. And she needs to be in the bigger crate. I know it seems like... The, the smaller you made it, I think it was probably counterproductive because then she was like, oh, I'm, I can't, I'm really in a prison. So get rid of that small crate. I'm glad I told you to send me a picture. And you could even put the crate, you know, by the bed or whatever. But Crash, the one I have, Crash, that's like, Crash, Shoe Bottom, Tuffy, Henny, and Molly all sleep in the bed. If you said, what about you? It's ridiculous. I'm just crutched in one corner. But crashed slept in a crate for like a year you know but now she sleeps in the bed but in the beginning you know because you're just going to have more of a chance for them to get used to it at night they're going to be asleep and all that not you know the only time I seem to go in here is when they leave and so now I don't like it all right let me see if I can make a quick video and be back